In a historic moment for the world of personal transportation, the Volanot Airbike was officially launched. The world's first commercially available electric airbike, marking a major step toward the future of urban mobility. Volanot Airbike takes its flying superbike high in the sky for the first time. Developed by Tomasz Patton, the mastermind behind Jetson One, the personal hoverbike levitates and glides in the air with ease, suggesting its overall lightweight structure. As the inventor says, the Volanot Airbike is seven times lighter than a conventional superbike because the design team uses advanced carbon fiber materials. On top of that, they adopt 3D printing for the parts as well as a minimal design for the overall look. Unlike the Jetson One, the flying superbike has an open-air setup, It has no frame caging the flyer. They also lean to the front unlike the EVTOL's lounge-like seating position. There aren't any visible spinning propellers around the Volanot airbike. Because of its compact size, the flying superbike can travel through confined and narrow areas. During the launch, Tomasz Patton takes the personal hoverbike in the air, through a valley and around a forest. The Volanot airbike comes as a surprise. It's because the inventor, Tomasz Patton, has developed it in stealth mode. There weren't any updates given before its unveiling on January 1, 2025. Specs-wise, the flying superbike features a jet propulsion that brings it up in the air. The air vehicle can only carry one person, and its speed can reach up to 200 km per hour or 124 miles per hour. The inventor says that Volanot Airbike also has a proprietary stabilization system. The design team enhances it using a flight computer, giving the flying superbike automatic hovering capabilities. Not adding any framing or exterior structure around the Volanot Airbike allows the flyer an unobstructed, 360-degree view. At the rear of the air vehicle, there are red tail lights for the other or nearby hoverbikes, triggered when the vehicle slows down. The entire frame is lifted off the ground using sculpted stands on both sides, allowing for a soft landing as well when the ride is up. So far, Tomasz Patton has yet to announce if Volanot Airbike will become available. In the meantime, he's glad he's been able to materialize a long-time inspiration of his, alongside Jetson One. For the latest information, keep an eye on Mitamoto. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so we can continue to develop this channel together. Thank you, see you later.